Hi, it's Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. I have a super fun tutorial for a wine shaker card using colored water. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but this card doesn't leak and it really looks like wine. Well, to be honest, I've never had wine, but I think this is what it looks like. And now that I'm thinking about it, I bet I filled that glass too full if I stand it up. Well, either way, this shaker card is super easy to make. Just follow these simple steps. First, you want to create your card base and cut your card stock to size. For my example, I used some metallic paper because I thought the shimmery light coral with a dark wine color would look really nice as a color combo. Again, I really don't know much about wine, but I do know a lot about color combinations. <laughs> Next, you want to die cut your image, and you're going to cut a small piece of background cardstock, and you're going to cut this bigger than the opening. We're going to remove this middle piece, and we're also going to remove the glass itself. So you want this extra piece to be just a bit bigger than the top half of your die cut image. Now die cut the wine glass again. You can cut this from silver, white, gold paper, and you can cut all of the image or just part of it like I did. We're going to trim this up and then we're going to attach it to the back of our card base using just clear tape. Okay, now it's time for the fun part, mixing your drink color. All you're going to need is a small plastic baggie, and I got this years ago in the jewelry department of the craft store. Now we will have to fold over the edges a bit because I'm going to lay this on top. This baggie is a bit bigger than our, our cutout image that we're going to need it for, so we are going to have to fold it over just a bit. Now take note of which side has the clear tape because you want to tape the top and bottom on the same side. That way your tape doesn't show through your die cut. So we're just going to fold this up. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to fold it up and taking clear tape, we're going to tape it well. I'll tape it right here. And then I'm also going to take a piece and cut this and tape the sides. Now because I like to make sure that everything is taped nicely, I'm going to tape it one more time. I'm going to tape it a couple of times in the back actually. Now you want to mix your water with some paint colors. Now you can mix any color drink you want. I mean, I guess this is a wine glass so you want wine colors. Um, I used some acrylic paint and water and these were mm, just raw umber and deep violet. But I also think, look at this, um, this unbleached titanium and gold. Put a little bit of gold with this and some water and I think it would look like um, a white wine. Now I did do some research so I think it would look like a white wine. I don't really know. but. I still think this would look really cool, and I think it would look really good for a um, New Year's Eve card. I'll keep you posted if I make one. <laughs> now you can use watercoloring inks or other paints or um, food coloring. You could use that, whatever you want. So now once you have the color and the consistency that you want, which is what I've got right here, I'm going to remove my brush. And you're going to pour this into your baggie. Now you don't want to fill it up too much. Let me just show you my, my first example. I think I filled this a bit too much. Um, if I kind of set this down, the edge of the, the wine goes here, and I think honestly it should be a little bit lower. But this is just play by the, you know sight. So fill up your baggie with as much or as little colored water as you want. Let me pull this over here so I can clean this up a bit. So to clean this up, I'm just going to take a baby wipe and wipe the edge. So now there's no um, ink or water right here. So I'm just going to close this up really tight and we're going to tape the top down. Okay. 
I'm gonna fold this over and see how this looks. Actually, I might not need to, well, again, you gotta make sure the tape is to the back. <laughs> oh, I think that actually looks real nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna tape that down at all. I did a really good job. Okay, let me tell you what you would do, because this is what I did for my first one. I would fold this over, and then I would tape all the way on the back, and then I would tape the sides. Now I might just tape this edge here so that it does protect it um, just a bit. I don't want any leaking when I'm um, putting this card together or when I'm shipping it in the mail. So I'm going to just put a little bit of tape on the side and I'm going to tape this over. And then I'm going to tape the top as well. This will prevent any leakage. You can also cut the top if you'd like, but because it really fits nice, I don't need to cut it. Okay, let's look at this one more time. Now this is um, a little bit thicker, so that's what I'm going to put at the top of my glass. I'm going to put this over here. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Can you see that? And it'll fit, let me turn it over, it'll fit right where it should with no hanging over. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, now to finish your card, we're going to flip our cardstock over. We're going to attach some double-sided tape around our die cut um, image and this will hold the baggie in place. Now remove your backing. No, you know what? Actually, I forgot one step. We're gonna flip this over and we're gonna stamp our sediment on the front. I totally forgot. <laughs> Live videos, what are you gonna do? Now you don't have to have a sediment, but I thought this one was really funny paired with the wine glass. I think wine is supposed to be aged like cheese or well hopefully this sediment works. I honestly now that I'm speaking on a live video I'm not sure if it works but it says you've aged beautifully and I thought that was pretty funny. Let's pray it works. Works as in like the sediment pairing it with wine. I honestly don't know. We'll see. Now because this ink is a bit wet, I'm going to heat set it and then continue with our step. Okay, so back to what we were doing. To finish your card, we're going to flip this over, add double-sided tape, and then we're going to remove the backing. Now take your water packet and add it to the back of your cardstock. Next we're going to add just a bit of foam to the back of the card base and this is to help with the dimension of the water packet. You can see that there's just a bit of dimension and this will help pop it up. If you add too much water to your um, baggie, you can add double layers of your foam. That's probably what I should have done for my very first card because uh, it is bulging on the card. <laughs> oh well, it still looks good. Now we're going to remove the backing to all of our foam and attach this to the card. It's that simple. I think this has got to be the simplest card I've ever made. And you could use this baggie idea for an underwater shaker card, or you could use it to make a jar shaker and put some die cut flowers in it. That would be super duper cute. The possibilities are endless. I hope that I've inspired you to create your own water shaker card for your next project. Please leave a comment below with a link to one of your creations or a link up to our Inspired by Virtual Smooches post. I'd love to check out your project. Thanks so much for watching.
Oh man, I completely forgot to add the back piece to the back of the wine glass. Drat it all. I wonder if I could take that apart. It does not look like it. Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a live video. Let me grab this piece. <clears throat> Pretend that before I added this cardstock, I added this to the back of my car on top of my card base so that this was showing through uh, this die cut image where the where the air hole is. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. Well, what are you gonna do? I still think it's cute. Note to self, add this little piece to the back of your die cut before you attach it to your card. Bow, bow. <laughs> oh, well.